hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge thank you for the support so today as promised i'm coming back with the um last topper really um and there's a smaller one here um from new beginning so hoping to make two cards out of this today um with addition of the paper pack okay so let's get started so if you hear any weird crashes and bangs I'm just going to warn you now there has been fireworks going off and uh, George is hiding under my chair currently so uh, um, I do apologise he may knock some things over because he is a bit scatty okay so let's start with um, a 6 by 12 piece of cardstock my usual and I'm going to come in and I'm going to take that as the six inch mark. It doesn't look like it's a very straight card to be honest, but we'll see what it's like when it's folded. Yeah, so I'm going to have to trim that little bit off there. So we'll do that with a guillotine. So let's bring that in. And again, I'm using the small hunky dory one where I can so I'm just going to straighten that edge off so I'm not sure if that's where the card's been cut before it comes to me or um, if it's just how um, how I've cut it so um, it could be how I have cut it so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just take that to the three inch mark I'm just going to take three inches off that side, so we've essentially got um, got essentially got a sort of half fold card there. So let me just give that a uh, bonus down. So I'm still using these six by six Miri mats, um, so I need to do a piece for the back and I need to do a piece for the side. So for the back, as usual, I'm just going to do two notches beneath or just before the six. And I'll just check that that fits in quite nicely since we cut that little bit off. Oh, it looks okay. And then this bit on the front, that's three by six. So again, two notches. Actually, just turn it around that way. Um, two notches under that three and two notches under that six and that was already the right size so it must have been the piece that I cut from before so bringing in this cardstock here so for the back piece um, I need to be a four notches under the six and four notches under the six just going to check that fits onto my gold nicely and it does and then for the front panel I'm bringing in the papers and I've got this one which matches that green just slightly darker so it's just going to have that little bit of tone on tone and this needs to be um, four notches under the three so one two three four notches under the three and I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom there because it's just a little bit of white there. So just to neaten up those edges, that's all. One, two, three, four notches under the six. That should fit onto our piece here quite nicely. And it does. Okay, so let's just get rid of those little bits of rubbish and that guilty okay so let's do a little bit of assembling so as usual the glues that i'm going to be using this is the kalau all purpose and this is the kalau tacky glue both of which i got from um, crafters companion and i'm just going to pop some all purpose in the middle and a little bit of tacky on the edges the reason why i don't go to the edge with the tacky is just so that um 
the um sorry go to the edge with the all purposes it can take the shine off your foil card or your mirror cards any sort of card top with a finish that's not porous um it can take the, the finish off so um what i do is i just put it in the middle like so this is quite a thin um nozzle and then I just put a little bit of tacky on those corners just to keep those down. And usually it stops anything splurging out by accident. But it also makes sure that my corners are stuck down nicely. Because I get a bit weird about corners that turn up. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> so uh, I like to make sure the corners are stuck down. So again with this one, same thing all purpose in the middle and you can see I do go quite close to the edge um, and then popping that one to there and I give it a good press down as well just to make sure that glue makes contact and then for the paper at the moment what I've been doing is using this all purpose glue and some crafters companion dotty pins for those corners that's just so that i've got a bit of wiggle room time to get that into the right position for me so i'm just looking at that face piece there there's no pattern on that so that's fine i'm going to have this with the pattern going sort of downwards so it means i can kind of just squeeze it into place and then give it a press down on those glue dots oh, that should all dry nice and clear so just giving that a press because I can see the outline of the glue and I can't use usually I can't but today I can hopefully that will disappear as it dries and I'm going to pop out this Hopper. and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this largest frame because it does take up most of the card uh, I'm also just going to pop out this border which matches in beautifully and is foiled as well Oops. just be careful how you it is quite well stuck in with those pips and I'm going to be using this little tag sentiment which says have a magical day so we'll pop that one out as well okay so I'm just gonna grab my scissors just make sure there's no white bits on those pips sometimes you can just smooth them down with your nail Sometimes you just need to just take the edge of your scissors to them just to tidy them up. And this, the pips just hold the cardstock in so that you don't get destroyed in in uh, transit and also I suppose for the, the printing and the processes that go for it as well. Make sure it's not moving about in the machines because I can imagine that would be disaster. Okay, so I'm pulling apart all of these frames gently and then we can arrange how we want this to go. Um, I'm going to take this border, sorry that's George, I'm just going to snip that little end off. before and we'll save that for the next card. Might have to cut that down a little bit more. Okay that's fine. Right so let's have a little arrange of things. So this is coming across I think that is going to be way too big so let's just go with this one. We've got our little horsey there. 
this one is going to be down here with a little green bow I think what I might do I want the um, topper to come over just a little bit do I want to over maybe no let's just discount that immediately let's pop that away okay so I'm happy with that I think that is going to be fine so let's pop that out of the way let's pop that one out of the way and I'm going to just do this one flat because I'm raising this one up and I'm raising the actual topper as well. So I'm just going around with some tacky glue. I don't want it anywhere. Um, there is no... So I'm trying to avoid putting any glue there because obviously we don't want that to... Um, stick where we don't want it to stick so just cleaning that up with a little teeny tiny dauber okay and then this one just keep that there um, I'm going to come in I want a one millimeter foam pad I think that's going to be around about there and I will have to cut some of these down Again, I need to make sure I'm not putting any where I don't need them. So let's just take a tiny bit off there. Or there, and I think that should be fine. Just taking those backs off. This is going to go back into there but obviously we're going to raise that right up now what I can do because I've put that down and because I know this fills that whole space I can go ahead and I'm going to use these crafters companion pads and these are around about a five millimeter so I'm going to pop these onto here that way I know I'm not going to go over this edge where I don't want any pads to be showing. I think that should be a good amount of support. Yeah, it feels good. So let's take these backs off. And they do come off quite easy, these crafters companion ones. So I um, don't know if they've got any in their outlet cell, but they have got a a really good outlet cell at the moment. I got the um, I got one of the advent calendars because it was only twelve ninety nine, um, and it came within two days. I was quite I was like oh, um, so that is there ready for Christmas for me. I haven't opened it yet. But hopefully I might get to do some videos with it with the things that are in there, but we will see. And then this one here, let's just pop out that um, little hole for the tag. And then I was thinking maybe ribbon, but if I keep it quite masculine, I could possibly go with some gems. So am I going to use my favourite gold ones? I think I am. I know I've used them pretty much all of this kit. Um, but they match it perfectly for one thing but it's just like my favourite thing at the moment just don't seem to be able to put them down right, okay let's just pop 
shave over. Move these out of the way. And if I how how high am I going to have this up? I think we'll go with these one millimeter ones as well. So we've got a bit of lift, so there's a little bit of drama, but not enough to take away from my actual topper, which is our thing of beauty that we want everyone to look at. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Let's just take the back off this one, if it will behave. Okay. And then that one can go into... Yeah, it just slid in at the last minute, so I'll get rid of that a little bit there. And I think this design was one that I saw a different card, sort of fairly similar but on a bigger scale, on the um, Hunky Dory Hub for one of the other kits. So um, I'm sort of just inspired by that and taking a little bit from it to do my own sort of idea. So I'm going to pop that one there. And then I'm going to have to pop a little bit of glue gel in that hole. Could have left it on. There we go. But because I took it off, just need to fill that hole a little bit. And I'm going to pop one of these. Is that one bigger? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's the biggest one. So we're just going to pop that straight over there. Like so. And then for the sides, shall I use my tacky glue? Yes, I will. I think what I'm going to do is have three going this way. So we're following the line of our our bar across and some sort of smallish ones I'm going quite delicate with the gems on this one and let's just give that a little shove over yep. And then in this corner, I'm going to have two coming down. And again, I think I'm going to go with mm, that one slightly smaller. And I'm going to have one a similar size. Come on, there you go. Mm. No, it doesn't want to leave. Oops. There we go. I'm thinking that is looking okay. Let me grab another teeny tiny dauber. Just clean up that little bit of glue there. It does dry clear, so it's not so much of a problem, but I do like to just help it dry a little quicker that way. Um, do I want to put anything on this side? Let's have a look. So there are some little red, red dots there. Do I want to add something onto there? I think what I'll do is I'm going to come in with my glitter pen on there and if I bring in my quickie glue pen she says which has disappeared okay just slip down the back okay so what I'm going to do is just pick up on these 
red bits of detail here. That's all, just a tiny little hint. And the glitter, because it's sort of clear iridescent, the um, deco art one, it should still allow that sort of reddish glitter to come through. It's just a little hint. If you didn't want to go with glitter, what you could do is use um, a foiling pen die, uh, a foiling, foiling, foiling pen um, with the glue for foiling rather than um, glitter. Um, you put that down, let it dry and then you can put some foil over the top so then you would make that your own foiled card. Okay, let's put that back in there. Super quick. This is just an old piece of um, copy of paper. There we go. And I did see this is uh, somebody was asking about this a little while ago. They have got it on eBay. Um, there are various different prices for it. I think the best price is somewhere around about the four pound mark. But um, it does last forever. It's super fine. Um, so yeah, I like it. It's a it's a nice glitter. Okay, so that is card number one. So what I'm going to do now is just get set up for the second one. Okay, so for the second card, again, I'm bringing in a piece of 6x12. Um, and I'm going to score this at 3 and at 6. So I'm going to make a, an easel card, but it's not the full easel it's like a half easel and then actually i'm going to turn that that way because the card is just a little bit wider that way and then we'll put that one down so the card itself is going to sit like that okay so let's put that one out of the way George who's still hiding down there and I'm going to bring in again the gold I'm going to stay with the gold there's that beautiful gold foiling on the um, the kit so I need to do a piece for the base of my card which is going to be two notches under the six and that should fit quite nicely onto there it straight yep and then this one I'm gonna go two notches under the six and two notches under the three and hopefully that should fit quite nicely onto there and it does okay, save that bit for another day Right, so with this piece here, um, I need to be four notches under the three. So one, two, three, four. Um, I'm just going to be super careful and stop just before that horse. And again, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to put a little notch there so I know that that's the level. Um, so let's pop that to the side because I need to cut him out and then for the base I'm going to use this green again which we used on the previous card I could use the insert but I decided I think I'll go with this so this is four notches under the six not at that edge just because it's a little bit tatty in the corner uh, one two three four notches and that's six and that should fit onto there quite nicely it's just not quite square on that side is it no, that should be fine okay so let's pop that out the way that out the way and that out the way so I'm just going to run around this horse with my knife. Now I'm not going to try and cut around those beautiful little tendrils. So 
it's not going to ruin the image at all if I cut them off. So I'm just going to go, and this is quite a nice sharp knife. Use your scissors if you're, I find you're either a scissors person or a knife person. I am better with a knife usually. Going to pop out. I'm going to come down here. I'm not going to worry too much about his mane. Let's go down to there. A little closer in there just because there's that dark edge. And um, just going to use the top of this just to where I've cut, cut the edge. I don't know if you can see, but the edge is coming upwards. So if you go around something with a ball tool, go around with um, something like a ball tool or something like this that's got a rounded sort of edge, it's just going to flatten that edge back down and make it less. Um, Pokey uppy. Oops, no, I just dropped it on the floor. So I'm just taking that little ledge off there. That's annoying me as well. Okay, let's find that piece of gold. Okay, and what I didn't do was make sure it was four notches under the six. So let's see, let's take. Two notches off there. And two notches there. George has disappeared, but he's actually farted under the desk. <laughs> so, oh dear. Rude. Okay. So let's just see how that is fitting. So I just need to take a little bit more. Uh, I think I will go from this side. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. So let's get rid of that. So let's just try and get this put together. There are fireworks going off to be fair, so he is scared. He did try and go out for a walk, but um, the uh, fireworks started getting, he literally got outside the door and then a firework went off and he was back in. So, so again, just with those glue dots, I think we'll go that way up. Good press down. We are going to have some things on here anyway. Just spread that glue out. Okay, and then our top. Obviously with the glue I just need to stay on this bottom half so we don't want to go anywhere near that horse's head really because that's going to pop over the top for us. Okay. Like so, so that's as it's standard at the moment you can see we've got a lovely horse coming over the top. So we've got a couple of other little bits here. Let's bring those in, see how we want to use them. I've got the sentiment, this huge sentiment 
the best time for new beginnings is now which is what the sheet is named after the new beginnings I've got a horse tag and I've got a flower and that's the sheet empty okay so I might pop this on here let's see let's pop you up for a moment so obviously we need to make our um, uh, stopper for the card. So I could trim that down a little. So I'm going to have those on the top. So try and hide that little edge where it wasn't quite as clean as I would have liked. That went under and then came up. Okay, so that would go and then we can have a little tag on here maybe with a gem again okay so let's just keep that there for a moment so for our border here let's see how have I got some smaller craft accompaniment ones yeah I've got these ones here so these are uh, still, a, still a five millimeter but they're just um, actually I don't want to go on that end quite so near let's get rid of that one so I just want to pop these down the middle of my border. I don't know how this will turn out, but we'll see if it works how I want it to. Okay, so let's take these backs off. These ones have been out in the open a little while, so they're not as easy to get the backs off. The longer I think you have them in the open air on a, a sort of change in temperatures, the, the stickier the glue gets sometimes, and then it sticks to the top of that paper. Some, some tacky glue on those edges and then on there so I'm just going to move that out of the way and I kind of want that to be straight I need to just hold those down for a second just to let those take Need one of those blocks. I've been watching uh, Kathy and uh, Gina and Jennifer McGuire, and they have the acrylic block. I really need one of those weights just to save me having to hold things down. I think that's gone anyway. That's fine. Okay, and then this bit's going to come over this top, and then that will hold that. So I think, shall we come in with the tacky glue or shall I just do a little one millimetre foam pad so it's just raised a little bit. I think maybe if we did a little one millimetre. Okay, bear with me two seconds. Okay, so I've just grabbed this uh, sheet of one millimetre pads. Um, I have had to cut them down because they were bigger sections, but uh, I'm just going to go most of the way around, well, all of the way around. Fireworks 
clear enough. It's been a really nice dry day here today, so it's been sunny, cold but sunny. And uh, sort of in the process of putting a, a greenhouse, it's only like a little pop up one. But I need to get it in the right place, and I haven't. Dry enough out there to be able to do anything. So if it's dry again tomorrow, I might stand a chance of getting that in the right place. So I keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay, so let's just take these backs off. So this is going to have a little bit of lift on that uh, underside, but it shouldn't interfere with our little mechanism. Just taking these backs off. There we go. And then we can just pop that over like so. Yep, still fits perfectly on there. Could have done with going tad that way, but I'm gonna not worry about that. So for this one, shall I do, I know I've got some, a little bit of raffia here and that raffia string, let's use some of that, let's snip that off and I think, shall we do a bow of some kind? This is just a bit of string that I got with some tags, um, some wooden tags that I got to decorate. Let's have a little look at that. It's going to look busy. Not happy with that. Let's do the other thing. all up together nicely with the fibres. Let's get rid of that. Let's pop a. Um, we'll go with this one millimeter, so it's the same level as that uh, frame we did. So I'm just going to pop that there, that there. Get a bit of glue. And I'll pop that across there. I'll put some ribbon on that in a second. And then we can turn to these on the top. And I think we'll go with the one millimeter on here again. again let's see. We should just about get away with that. And there. And then this one will have going a little higher. 
I want it coming over. So these are those five millimeter pads. One there. Okay. And I have gone quite close in here if you wanted to. Um, and that's purely because that edge, I wasn't happy with that edge. But uh, you could come over a bit more to the left if you're a bit neater than me, which you're bound to be. You're bound to be. Okay, and then we've got this little flower. Pop that one there. Now, I did have an idea about some... Right, bear with me two seconds. I'm going to try not to use those gold gems. I did have an idea of what I could use instead. Okay, so I've got these tiny little sort of chocolate colour pearls. So I'm going to use some of those. Also already cut the bow. So let's Actually, I'm going to use my quickie glue pen because these ones are really, really tiny. I'm just going to put three little dots along that bottom part. Oops. Just clean up my picky up tool. I think it's got a bit of glue on, which is why things are wanting to stick to it. So we've got those three there, and I'm going to match that. Well, I'm going to put two here and one there. And then just to finish a little bit of 3D glue gel, you can use um, a glue dot if you prefer. I just find that the glue gel works best for me. And I just did a little green bow to go onto there. So the glue pen is that way before I lose it. And I think that's it yeah so it does need an insert which um, I think I would probably just pop onto the back you could do one in half and stick it on the inside if you wanted to oh, but let me hold that up for you so you can see that that's quite nice I think like I say if I had to cut that a bit neater there it's difficult having the guillotine trimmer um, because of that blade you, c you can't judge it as well as um, with the sort of other type of trimmer that I usually use, the tonic one, um, but I'm still uh, struggling to find blades on that. I do need to find another trimmer. I was toying with the idea of um, a Tim Holtz one, but uh, we will see. We will see. Okay, so let me not do that. Let me bring in the other card that we made today. So that is the last two from New Beginnings. So all we've got left now, apart from bits of card and leftover pieces, is the last topper set, which I will bring in, which is the bear and the beautiful stag. So, I mean, look at that foiling on him. Cute, cute as can be. So um, I will come back next time and we will make a start on those. Once we finish that, um, I'm probably going to have a break for a couple of days, not long, 
um, just want to have a bit of a tidy up and rearrange in certain places and then when I come back it's probably going to be the magazine kit because that is stunning um, I have ordered the um, animal one that was launched on Friday um, because I needed a few other bits as well and I did like the chihuahua I really like the chihuahua topper on that and the other dog one um, and there's quite a few people I can think of that I can sort of give those sort of cards to um, I think they're quite they suit the boys quite a lot there's quite a lot of men in our family um, so uh, it's easier uh, to make a card for them out of that sort of thing um, but that's it for today um, thank you so much for watching um, have a great weekend so I just moved that and I didn't need to have a great weekend happy crafting see you next time bye bye